guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episodes 1 and 2 of season 3 of Working. Let's go ahead and get started on episode 1 and 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Somebody broke something. Yamada? Yamada. They're men. Yep. Good job, my do. Hey, Maya. Oh. You know, it would also be nice if you would stop. Everything. Do you know how much they have to replace with it? Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe. No, it's a little good. It's a little good. <laughs> She looks like fucking. She looks like Latina. You know, I think everybody was suspicious. <laughs> Secretly, I was. I mean, you have to put the JoJo up. <laughs> Well, you really have to sleep. Yeah, it'll be fine. He is. He just waiting until he's done polishing and then he's gonna beat the crap out of you.
Honestly, yeah. I feel so sorry for you. Yeah, kill son. No. Me too. So, so. I'm hungry too. I, I, I just ain't gonna be able to eat until four. God, that looks so good. I know. She just see him as someone who just cooks. <laughs> She is literally making me want to go to the store. I'm hungry. Chill. I'm hungry too. You, you want to give me some chips? <laughs> You would think that little girl would be tired. <laughs> oh my jealous. So cute. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. <laughs>
Are you sure? That's okay. I know that feeling. See, so you now you get all the head packs. Who's coming? Ocho son? Ocho son, yeah. Oh, oh God, every single time she dropped it, a part of me dies. I hate you. But she's kind of growing out of it. She's done well. They don't. Why are we looking in the park? She's not going to be in the park. What if we find Oto's uh, wife again? Oh, nope, there's Yamada. I mean, we going deep into the woods. Hmm? What did I just say? What did I just say? And there she goes. I mean, yeah, but y'all could have been like, wait, hold up, lady, what's your name? Why don't you come with us? Oh, like this child going to get lost, too. Yeah, matter. What if Yamato brings his wife to the store? <laughs> to the restaurant. Ah. Well, yeah. Hey. The 
Did she think he did? Yeah, uh, most women be like they're so funny. <laughs> In a way, we're all watching soap operas. <laughs> Yep, just follow the yellow brick road. And <laughs> Oh, that's a cute picture. Oh my god, just seeing her open her eyes. <laughs> I think she'll be fine. Oh, well, damn, that was quick. I wasn't expecting him to be, like, right there. Well, you know, come on. We, you know, found your wife. Come on and meet her. Again. Hopefully she's there. I mean, they sealed that room up pretty good, so. Oh. I would eat that too. Thank God that wasn't on the floor. You know what? Even if it was on the floor, she probably would have ate it. Knowing Kyoko-san. She gone, ain't she? Hold up. How the hell she disappear? So quickly. Your wife.
If only they took a picture of her. Okay, hold on. Here's my thing. Why didn't anybody just stay with her? I mean, it would have been so better because then we could have seen how she was being. I forgot you was in the forest. <laughs> well, your little sister is also here. She could be anywhere now. Was like uh, that haunt was basically like hell to me. Ah, oh god, what was this first episode? Oh my god, but it was good, it was a nice way. Hold up. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about this. Biggest thing is, I, I want to know, how in the world did Otosan's wife get out of the room? Every time that we've seen her, she gets out really quickly in this situation. Woman? Yamada. Yamada. But, oh, I don't know. I think what the hell. Oh, she was married? Oh. Shocking. Okay. But so, like, they boarded up. I can't. I'm doing the opening and everything. Then we get the window, the other door. How she get out? Like, come on. She, wait, you see, get like a rack on. I mean, because of the fact that she's been out. In the wilderness for how long? <laughs> season two. She's been missing since season one. So. That's a long time. <laughs> like, no offense. It's a really long time for her to be missing. But the fact that she can get out. <clears throat> like that. Bruh. <laughs> I was just thinking for once. I was like, oh my god, we're finally gonna have one part of many different parts and situations in this show finally be solved. Like, she's here at the restaurant, Ocho san's coming, Yamada's taking him to the freaking room, the break room, and then, you know, they tear everything down and she gone. Like, are you serious? Like I said, why didn't anybody just at least stay in the room with her? I mean, but yeah, like, you don't know what she could be capable of, but they could have just sat down and had a little conversation with her. I know Yachido would have <laughs> not been able to do it, but, like, Kyoko-san could have did it, or, um, 
So I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna couldn't do it because she's waiting for Odoazan, of course. Uh, popular could have did it, but she was busy, you know, working. Mahiru could have did it because she would have been talking to an older lady, and she's fine with that. But <laughs> not everything ends the way you want it. I mean, even Yamada's brother came <laughs> again. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and still no success on finding Ali. This is it's probably not gonna be solved until like the final season, which <laughs> Who knows how the final season's gonna end, but bro, oh my god, I can't. What was this episode? I mean it was a really good opening. I was expecting the opening to come out like in the first few minutes of the episode and not in the last few minutes. The opening is nice. I like it. That last little ending shot with Yamada again. <laughs> I mean, I'm still laughing at the one from season two, and now you're gonna make me laugh about this is every single week with season three. And I bet you season four probably got like a really obnoxious like ending with Yamada in it. And I wonder how the ending's gonna be because we haven't heard it. Because I still like the ending personally from season two a lot more. But hmm. I ain't going on until I watch episode two. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay, episode two in three, two, one, go. Hmm? Uh-huh. And... I mean, he's gonna find out any other way. Why would you say that? I, he's not there for Nazuna. He could be there for Kozue or any one of your other sisters. Not Nazuna. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. Because he's an older person, and I don't think someone older will want to date someone younger, especially because Nazuna is like, what, fit, 14, 15? Yeah, no, 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 nah. He, he there for your older sister. Mm -hmm. One of them. Yeah. How can you tell by a voice and they're calling back? Yeah. Oh, okay, you do. Uh, Kazue? That, that's your ex? Because you, it did say in the preview you were married. Oh. <laughs> she decided to shut her up. Okay. All three of y'all got depressed at the same time. 
No, oh, I hate that. Why? What is wrong with this guy? We're never gonna get through this. Like, one of you just go. No. Yeah, I, and plus, I, you've never met him, so, I mean, mm. Why do you want to be punched, though? Yeah, I, I don't want to know how that would have gone. Well, you could just call him or text him. You want like a dang paragraph? Yeah, I figured nobody in their family. <laughs> I can't even stay with Nasana because Nasana hasn't even met you. God, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my lord, Jesus. She like Hanajima <laughs> fruits basket. <laughs> like, I can't go on anymore. Go on for me, Taru.
Oh, you have a wife. His wife. Yeah. Yeah, he is definitely one of those. Oh my God. I mean, can I say something? Have they ever really thought about putting him in a rehab facility for his problem? I don't even know if a rehab facility would take on his problem. I mean, hey, we all got weird kinks and fetishes. <laughs> oh my god, easy. You look so bad. Oh my god, honey! I feel like tough it out a little bit longer. Uh huh. Good goodbye, brother in law. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, you sure. Okay, but you still. So, uh huh. Yeah, but you eat that. Uh, I don't know what to say after that. Hmm? Okay, so, um,. How in the world did she marry someone like him? <laughs> oh, what's your face? Okay. Um, ma'am, we, we don't do black magic here. Well, what's wrong with you, Sama? Mm. Well, I mean, gossip goes around the workplace fast, you know? Mm. Honestly, same.
Let's just take back what we just said two minutes ago. Then you drinking twenty four seven. So. You know, sometimes, yeah, I wonder how you do survive all them punches they give you. Maybe it's just because, you know, your glasses had a little too much and they only had this much of outside energy left. Maybe you should get contacts. That that's not Yamada. That that oh. Maybe we should just go home for the day. Because it's my day. Figure it out. Just back away slowly. You now you can go back to your P5 old self.
I love the fact that she sleeps over her way. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> It's just like I've never heard that like <laughs> you know. Well, I just found out something new that a sports drink will help. Okay. So next time when I get drunk. Have some Gatorade. <laughs> That girl's still out of commission, so you can't ask her. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, well, that makes sense. You become an angry drunk? Oh, okay. I mean, that kind of does that for everybody. You could have said, I don't fucking work today. Bruh. Like, you just scoot yourself over. Sometimes, usually, never. You're not going to take her out for a drink. You could have just said, let's go out today or tomorrow or next week. Oh, my God. Sato. I have to side with Soma for once. But, I mean, it's kind of the wrong thing to do sometimes. But, uh. Sir, you just you, you screwed up. <laughs> I wanted to see these two go on a date. Damn it! This is a Bear. I think I like this opening a lot more. I mean, I think not more. I mean, oh, it's good. It's nice and style and pretty. Mm. But, oh. Uh. <sighs> Pour something up for my homie Sato. <laughs> He's so clueless. I love him, though. I love him so much. I just like. 
Yeah, please don't break those. Oh, God. He's not going to do it again, though, Yamada. I mean, but like, okay, I've been shipping these two since season one, and I'm just like, what, we're growing, we're on season three, but they're growing, and it's just like, come on, like, just, mm, he, I, I love the fact that he did ask her in this episode, but still, you, you're saying sometimes, sometimes, it's code four, never, or maybe once in a blue moon, and it's just like, oh my freaking god, just do it, just, <clears throat> Today, at, or tomorrow, at this time, but like, oh my god. I was already be like, oh my god, like, yes. We cheered for him, but no. I can't. It's like, you know, when you see your best boy. And your best girl finally get together and they go on a date together and you're just like, yeah! And just mm, something happened. It just screw it all up. <sighs> they better get together. They better have something by the end of this damn show. We got one more season left and I need something. Even though at the end of the day, Yashiro is just, I'm in love with Kyoko son. Kyoko-san! Mm, yes, Kyoko-san! But, uh... She trying. <laughs> they trying. That's all I gotta say about that. But, oh my god, okay. So, the former brother-in-law, he's very, um... <laughs> uh, different. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to say about him, but it makes me wonder how uh, Cosme Nason married him. Because <laughs> it's like, I mean, you can tell that he has a problem. And, you know, he's that type of guy who's like, yeah, I'm not going to address my problem because, you know, I don't believe I have a type of problem. That is like some guys who, um, <laughs> have the wanting to be stepped on or um the foot fetish that you know possibly awakened a lot of people from that sao episode and ish and you know was very awkward to sit there and watch because i'm like are we seriously doing this like no um or any other fetish <laughs> It might be weird to me. Like, somebody is like, yeah, I fucked with that. <laughs> because I will never forget because, like, one day I was talking about Persona 5 with my friend. And we uh, we talked about, like, who we chose for, like, the one true warfare ish and stuff. I chose, like, for my my third, uh, my third playthrough, I chose Kawakami for, um, for it. And... <laughs> My friend, she told me that she chose Tay. And I was like, oh, okay, why did you choose Tay? <laughs> I just wanted to be stepped on. And I was like, huh? <laughs> Every guy or girl that I've talked to about B5 and who they chose, it's always, I chose the doctor because... <laughs> I was like, hey, I chose either Kawakami Haru or On because I like their personality and they're interesting. And then, you know, you feel bad specifically, like, if you bring up with Haru, like, oh my god, it's so bad and it hurts. But, like, with Kawakami, like, Kawakami had, like, an interesting story, same thing with Haru, On did too. But, oh, <laughs> I, I vaguely remember Takemi. But that was with the little girl that in some other situations yet. Go play P5R. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it again. Play Persona 5 Royal if you haven't played it. Don't play the vanilla Persona 5. There's no reason to play it. Just play the extended version because the extended version is 
the true version. I'm just saying. That's all. But, like, yeah, today's episode was really good. I wasn't expecting everything that happened in these two episodes to happen. Especially with the brother-in-law, because, oh, he got problems. But I feel like this is not going to be the only time we're going to see him. So, he he's going to show up again. Don't know when, but he will. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of season three of Working. If you guys enjoyed it, please <clears throat> give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patrons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.